insurance company and or the jury if your case gets that far. And that is the topic of the week. And now let's go to our first caller of the week. Barbara, who do we have on the line? Roger, we have Tim, and he was involved in a, a car accident, but the other person did not have any insurance. All right, other insurance, no insurance. All right, thank you, Barbara. I'll talk to Tim while I'm sitting down here. Tim, this is Roger Reed Miller of Lawyer on the Line. How can I help you? Hey, Roger, what's up, man? Not much, how you doing? Oh, man, I'm doing well. How are you doing, man? Good, good. Great. You have a question so, regarding I, I an question accident. For you, man. So, like, the other week, um, I was with, like, my buddy, like, Steve Wedlock and Toby Bo, and I was, like, driving down the road on, like, hillside, man, and, like, I was driving, and I, like, was making a right turn. Um, I was exiting on an on-ramp, and, like, I got pulled over by this, like, cop, and he came up to the car, and he goes, Hey, I, I want your license and registration, man. And I was like, okay. So I pulled open the uh, gloves department, and, like, I was getting my registration out. And, like, when I was getting my registration out, like, my pipe fell out, fell out of my uh, glove department. And so, like, he uh, asked to search the car, and I, I said no. I, I, I was just, like, trying to exercise my 18th Amendment right, you know, and he asked me why I said no, and I was like, you know, man, like, it's it's my right to say no, and if if I say yes, then I'm throwing away my right. So, so what is your question, Tim? Well, I, I, I think, oh, hang on, man. Well, Tim, it sounds like, uh, from what I can tell, uh, your question is whether or not you have a legal search and seizure, whether or not you uh, gave consent to the search and so forth. It sounds like you have a criminal prosecution problem, criminal defense problem, and you should immediately get the assistance of a criminal lawyer. Anytime you get pulled over like that and, and there is a question with respect to the reasonableness of the stop and whether or not your constitutional rights are violated, you need to see a criminal lawyer, a criminal defense lawyer, excuse me, and that criminal defense lawyer will assist you in determining what type of plea bargain or, dis or defense that you should uh, pursue in this matter, whether or not you should take it to court or try to work out a plea bargain with the prosecutor. Uh, see a defense lawyer right away. Thanks again for your question, Tim. Well, let's go right to our next caller. Barbara, who do we have on the line? Roger, we have Kenneth, and he has a question about his uh, employment.